Welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you how to create animated lights that look something like this. Okay, so we're here in Zmodeler. Going to make these uh, animated strobe light thingy majiggies. First things first, we need to pick a location where we want to do them. Uh, I'm thinking for this, we're just going to do these light glass things. I'm going to use the glass mesh and I'll map it. So I'm going to open up the chassis. I'll hide everything. First things first, I'm going to grab my dials. I'm going to move them above the windows. It's not really required or anything. I just want to. So let's do that. Now your dials, you need to grab the texture for them. So in this case, script RT shafted dials. That would be vehicle shaft interior. So I've already got them extracted. I'm going to quickly just replace this missing texture with, uh, with that. Now the way that this works is, let me just um, bring up that texture. Basically, your UV is going to end up sort of around this area here. It's a different colors you can see. It's going to end up around this area. Hello. There we go. It's going to end up around this area. And when the vehicle turns on, the temperature gauge will start here and it will move up to here. So your UV needs to be in the path of the um, of the dial when it moves. Now you can use pretty much any dial script for this, as long as it has a um, temperature gauge on it. The most common one used, I think, is um, one of the van dials. I don't remember what it's called, but for this case, we're just using the shafter dials because that's what the the stock car that we have here has uh, originally. And I still want my actual dials to function when uh, when we come for testing because um, obviously the car needs dials to work properly. So let's find the front bumper. So bumper F. Then what we'll do is we will grab the glass. that. Then what I'm going to do is delete one half of it because we only need we only need uh, we need one half. We'll mirror it once we've mapped one side. And then what we'll do is we'll grab the move tool. I'm going to move this forwards just so it's above the glass so there's no clipping issues. And then what we will do is we'll go to the material browser. We'll find script RT shafter dials. We'll copy it. Now oh, you can see here we've got a new material, so we're going to call this script RT shafter dials temp. And then we're going to go to this button up here, GTA 5, vehicle generic, I'm going to call it vehicle light submissive. This is so we can make it glow in the dark. It won't actually emit any light, but um, obviously uh, it'll glow in the dark. So now we're going to drag it and drop that over our... For this, transparency should still work fine. I'm going to make sure that it's turned on. Standard alpha blend. Yep, that's fine. Now what we will do is make sure the light ID is set to zero, which it should be on both vertex and polygon. Yep. Now I'm going to UV map it. So go to top, front view, fit, surface, edit UV. We'll edit the UV mapping. So generate new from viewport XY on UV channel one. Hit OK. That's changed now. We'll go to UV mapper, material, script RT dials temp, and we'll find our, our mesh. So where we want it to start from is the part that will be facing the bottom. So 
for example, if we want this end to be where the strobe effect begins, then we want sort of this sharp end to be facing down. If we want it to start from this side, then this side will be facing down and it will start from that side and it will go across like that. For this, we're going to make it start from here and go across. So I'm going to switch back to screen view and then we'll bring this down to here and then we'll rotate it 90 degrees. Now I'm going to scale it down. Now the point of this is to make sure that when the when the car gets up to temperature there isn't still a bit of um, dial on the actual UV. So the point where it ends needs to be about there or about there, yeah. So now we'll scale this down. It's got to be pretty small. The smaller it is, the smoother the sort of strobing effect will be. Obviously, how smooth it will be will also be determined by the pixels of your dials. Um, obviously, you can experiment with different dial scripts. Like I said earlier, as long as you have a dial script that has a temperature gauge, then you'll be able to do this. I'm also going to set the X scale to 1. Because that sort of helps with the... Um, with the smoothing of the pixels. Okay. So that looks pretty good now. I'm pretty happy with that. So it'll... Uh, dolls will start down here. It'll move up. And then it'll cover, come up our, uh, our, our UV. Okay. Now what we will do is we will create a copy of the side we just mapped. And we'll select it with Alt left click on the box. Now we're going to do mirror. Now we'll set that to pivot and we'll set this to local X or geometry like so. And then we'll just attach these two to each other. Now you can attach this straight to the bumper or you can create a new bone. We're going to create a new bone that's inside the bumper. You can also make this a mod kit part if you want to, but we're not going to for the sake of the simplicity of this tutorial. So I'm going to create a copy of the front bumper. I'm going to dismiss this. So we've got ourselves a uh, dummy for our LOD. And then we'll convert that to a compound and then drag and drop our new strobe lights in here. So another thing to note is the dials themselves, although in here it doesn't look like it. Um, basically, all the uh, all this texture is for is a template for um, a GFX thing to appear. So it's like a template. If it finds the same name texture, then it will replace it with your actual dial script, which is just a, an Adobe GFX thing. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but... That's basically that. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll export this and we'll test it in game. So file export. Just gonna place the existing models with auto detect turned on. Then we will go to open IV. Or we'll just open file location on here, and then we'll drag and drop them in. One thing to note, of course, is that you can also set the color of this. So at the moment, we've just got it set to white, so it'll be whatever color the dials are. Um, but for this, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do... In fact, we'll bind it to paint. So what we'll do with this is we'll add at the end paint 7 which in this case is just black, it'll be whatever you've got set in car variations dot meta, but you can also change it so it'll be dy dynamic to be whatever you want it to be. But what you can also do is you can remove the paint 7 and just set a diffuse color in here and it'll be that color in game. But for now, I'm happy with paint 7. So I'll save that, I'll export it again. 
And then we'll drag and drop the models and test it in game. This tutorial assumes that you already have um, dials working on your vehicle. So uh, just keep that in mind. You can see here, you can see him striving across right there. What we're going to do is we're going to set the color of it. So I will set dashboard color to, we'll do red. And we'll jump out and jump back in again and you'll see it striving across. Like so. Obviously the, uh, you'll have to mess with the UV to get it as smooth as possible. You can also scale it on the y-axis as well. But that's a simple tutorial showing you how to make the strobe effect lights that animate when you turn the car on. It does take some trial and error to get things how you might want them to be. Um, so just play with it a little bit. You'll figure it out eventually. There is no like one correct way to do it. This is just like the idea of how it works. Um, obviously the explanation of how it works. Showing you it in action. Obviously your results may vary. It really depends on which style script you're using. What your UV is like, etc, etc. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you want. Mm, goodbye.